thanks to the result of a heavy rover rolling over a soft rock, Curiosity has exposed a first-of-its-kind discovery on Mars. Rocks containing sulfur are common on Mars, but ones made of pure sulfur have never been seen before. On this episode of Mars Guy. Nearly 12 years ago, Curiosity arrived in Gale Crater to explore what was originally referred to as a mound on the crater floor, but at roughly 5 kilometers high, it certainly qualifies as a mountain. It's since been dubbed Mount Sharp. The lure of Gale Crater is that Mount Sharp has layers that an orbiting spectrometer called CRISM showed contained water-formed clay minerals called smectite, that transition to sulfate-bearing layers higher up. It's thought that this marks a change in climate on Mars from warmer and wetter to colder and drier. Curiosity is now exploring the zone of sulfates. On May 30th, it arrived in this location after a short 9-meter drive to position it among a remarkable field of whitish rocks. Here's Mars Guy for scale. On a planet with so many dark-toned volcanic rocks, anything this light draws attention. In the last meter of the drive, Curiosity managed to crush one of these rocks, a fortuitous event that's now a landmark in the history of Mars exploration. Turns out that these rocks look very different on the inside. There's a yellowish hue that resembles elemental sulfur. Measurements from other instruments confirmed a sulfur identification. The yellow stuff is pure sulfur rather than sulfur mixed with other elements in a mineral, like gypsum, for example. It was known in ancient times as brimstone, which apparently means burning stone, a reference to the fact that it does indeed burn. On Earth, elemental sulfur is commonly found in volcanic hydrothermal settings. In episode 133, I presented fieldwork I was doing on a volcano in Chile, which was in part to understand the kinds of sulfur minerals forming in a more Mars-like environment. The steaming fumaroles here produce abundant elemental sulfur, which is pretty much all the yellow stuff everywhere you look. This site in the Tapal Volcanic Zone of New Zealand, and yes, we had permission to be there, shows a location where underground magma generates steam that vents at the surface and produces delicate crystals of pure sulfur. You might think that because Curiosity is in a place recognized for sulfates, finding elemental sulfur is no big deal. But sulfates are different and they've been found by previous rovers on Mars. None has found elemental sulfur like this, that is, in rocks scattered far and wide across the surface. In fact, I haven't even seen anything quite like this on Earth. These rocks have a strange porous, some may say vuggy texture that looks a bit like the holes or vesicles formed by gas bubbles in lava. Sulfur on Earth is known to flow like lava when it reaches its much lower than lava melting point of about 113 degrees C. But I'm not aware that it bubbles when it flows. Then there's the reality that Mount Sharp is not a volcano. It's mostly a stack of sedimentary rocks, some of which were produced in an ancient lake. On Earth, abundant natural elemental sulfur is pretty much only found associated with volcanic activity. So does this mean we're seeing evidence of volcanic activity on Mount Sharp? But even if that's true, how did these rocks form in what seems to be a layer, or at least on a common surface? Did they erode from a single exposure of altered bedrock, or did they form as the isolated, almost nodular-looking rocks we see today? More answers will come when all the data are analyzed, but one thing's for sure. In the absence of oxygen in the Martian atmosphere, there can be no fire and brimstone. 